for me, I always say like I'd rather I'd rather date an older guy because yeah. I want you to go have sex, go Wine do whatever you me. want, <laughs> go have sex all you want, go do whatever you want, go have your fantasies, go do your whatever, and then I want you to get to a point where you're like, I want to oh settle I'm down. I'm tired. This is empty. Like yeah. I want a woman that I want to have a family with mm, that I okay. can like love that is faithful that like that I can have a dr dreams with and like you know what like straight up because I lived through this mm -hmm. I want a woman that a woman that can take care of me when I'm older or I can take care of her or god forbid like I'm handicapped like she's loyal and she loves me enough where she'll take care of me because I saw that in my I saw That's that incredible. Okay. I saw that with my family so this makes a lot of sense because this was the the structure of a relationship like that you were most loyalty you were most familiar with watching every, your parents yes, yeah like my, my, my parents stayed together for 40 years up until my wow. dad passed away but they, they I did see them argue every once in a while and so I think <laughs> that normal, for, normal. for me normal. in a relationship I have two rules Rule number one is you can always ask me how I feel. You can never tell me how I feel. You can never Correct. tell me I love someone. Absolutely. You can never tell me that I don't care about you. You can ask me, but you can never tell me. And then the second rule is if I do something wrong, you have to tell me now. You cannot tell me a year from now. There are no checklists. Oh, yeah, no. There's Again, no grudges. Communication is yeah, everything. For it, sure. I have yet to find a woman who can follow those two rules. To be well, honest with you, good luck. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's pretty hard. But, but good like luck that. finding a woman or finding a man. Honestly, it's yeah. very difficult. Again, why I'm single? Or finding a man. Why yeah, it's so hard? Being single. Why yeah. So hard. Shout out to being why single. So hard. Single, so it's a single boy. It's, it's 2021. <laughs> single winter. Well, single you were winter. saying it's totally a double-edged sword. Like, yeah. yeah, okay, you can be attractive, but like, it's like I don't I don't have a problem. Um, not to sound conceited, but I don't have a problem men wanting to date me. Yeah, is that crazy? Can you believe this? I have a problem, problem me this? wanting to date Rihanna, them. Like. You have a Can you believe it? She has no problem with men wanting to date I her. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe I cannot this. Believe I'm utterly that. shocked. Oh, like, oh, oh my God, you have no problem. Rihanna, I'm just saying Rihanna, it's men me. wanting to date I have a you. I have a oh my God. Brianna. Rihanna, I'm shocked by her arrogance. I can't believe that she would say something so arrogant. Oh yes, my goodness. I cannot believe that you would ever have a problem. We're aware, we're aware that you have no problem. Have stop it, guys. Stop. Let me have a shot. No, but <laughs> That's terrific. Awesome. A uh, couple things I do want to bring that up. That is. That is so, that is me. So, so one of the reasons why, and I'm, this, I'm not saying this is what happened in your situation because yeah. you said your dad was 37 and your mom was 21, but a lot of times I talk to guys, a lot of very successful men, and they really like younger girls, and they don't like them because they're pedophiles or anything like that. They like them because there's innocence. This, the, well, there's an innocence, but here's the other thing. There's a point like you guys go on social media and you have a very, very clear understanding of how attractive you are. You do because you're constantly getting feedback for it, dopamine hits or whatever. Right. But you understand there was a point when you were younger where you didn't know how attractive you were. Absolutely. You knew you were attractive. Oh, absolutely. And when and during absolutely fucking little and during and during that point, a guy who was of lower status might have had a shot. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah, of yes, course. I do. Of unfortunately. <laughs> of course. You, it, so, it sounds very similar to the situation you described. Unfortunately, yeah. I do. Yeah, but you, no, yeah. The I sexual do. market value, I think, was sexual mating value was like, I think, the term David Buss uses. But a lot of times when a girl's 19, 20, 21, she doesn't know uh, what her value is. No. On, on, we on don't. The, yeah. And it Again, sucks. I, and, I, and I hate you to know, use the word I sexual say, marketplace, but that's the term they use in the Can book. I say something? It is very sad that, like, Okay, our sexual value is like worth more when we're like 20, 21 versus when we're like 27, 28. So the actual, so if you, the, the thing is you can actually look at these numbers and make, find hard numbers if you go on dating apps and you say which girls get swiped right on the most and it goes, uh, it peaks at 23 for females and it peaks at 38 for men. Or, or, or that's not, I'm sorry. It begins the peak at 38 for men and stays there till they're about 44. For women, though, it's much shorter. It goes from about uh, it goes from about twenty three to like twenty five. That's generally how it works. And so you'll see this like men, women 25. that are twenty were twenty three going out with thirty eight. We are most certainly not twenty five. <laughs> yeah, but the, so here's here's the difference though. Like I had a guest on recently. I'm not going to say who she was because I want to give her age away. But she's thirty seven and she looks like she's twenty two. Mm -hmm. And so the the things that other women in her age group would have to worry about, she doesn't because of right. because of physical fitness, plastic surgery, modern medicine, and things like that. So that number gets pushed out way further and further and further. And so what ends up happening is now she's thirty seven. The likelihood of her of her of her caring children to term when she turns forty 
it's just less. I mean, it's it's just a biological Absolutely. fact. You're more likely to carry a child to term at 23 than you are at 40. Yeah, right. But, but yeah. she's a 40 year old who looks like yeah, she's 25, right. and course. so she doesn't see there's the need so to settle down. Them. Exactly. Yeah. So men, there's like a there's a scientifically, I, I believe it's proved as well. I saw I think a documentary. Um, men are more tr so men are more attracted to women that look the most fertile, which typically Correct. is young. Okay, so which now, is the young. curves. So so, so, so it is the curves. But let's look at something it's else. Let's curves. look at the contrapositive of what you said. When women go through menopause, there's studies that show that men can smell it. They can tell when their wife is no <gasps> longer fertile. Damn, they can, really? they can tell. They can sense. Them. They can sense. Not literally smell it, but through oh. pheromones, they can sense that their wife's not fertile. <gasps> and you will see the study shows no. men dating the secretary, buying the red Ferrari. That's I I would. I would it happens. It, coinc <laughs> it coincides with menopause, and it's really shocking. So the opposite of fertility, which would be menopause, would trigger something like right. that. So as far as fertility, here's a here's a couple things, right? Facial symmetry shows good genetics. Yeah. Long hair. So a lot of women have fake hair. You notice if you if you have a woman who's 50 years old and she has fake hair, you can't tell how old she is from behind, right? Hip to waist yeah. ratio, nice skin, all these kind of things. You're right. They do or they are signs of fertility. That's exactly right. And then youth is the other one, right? right? Even breast implants are uh, breast implants are there for a sign of youth. Same thing right. with Botox. Right. Same thing with liposuction. Those are things to show youth essentially, which again, like what you said, shows more the, the likelihood of being able to carry a child. Uh -huh. Sabrina, you <laughs> said you had a very